Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. I'm Absurdities. And, um, not much time has passed since last time around. A little bit. But I wanted to have a look, while I'm thinking about it, about how long ago we got that Elfe mutation. Is it telling us? Back started a week ago. I think we're gonna pop some more. Oh yeah, that, that is what I did between episodes. It's been, um, I guess a couple days since I recorded. I had a uh, pretty busy Thursday and uh, wasn't able to record on the day, so I'm a touch behind uh, and I recorded ahead of time. So, yeah, it's been a couple days since I played. I did, however, make... What did we make? Mutagenic Catalyst. So as I understand it, the primers kind of set up for what type of mutation you can get and then the catalyst helps push that forward. Um, the primers do a little bit, but not as much as taking a catalyst. So I'm actually gonna put alpha mutagenic primer on and troglobite. And then I'm gonna take a catalyst and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, it's not gonna be immediate, but uh, I think what we're going to do is maybe try and get some more food out of this town. Try and make it to that gun store. Maybe we'll just drive in a little bit and see what we're, do what we're dealing with. In fact, we can come up above here and into this street. Now, so we coming in here, have to take a right and then get there. So what I might try and do is navigate these streets around, find out what we're dealing with, and then drive out the bottom of that, and then come back around towards that hunting blind. So let's see what we can do. We are a wide vehicle, so getting through town is probably not going to be the easiest thing. Well, I did that one all right. And lots of stuff in the distance. It's good to know. Let's see if we can maybe run a couple of them down. That wasn't so bad. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try and take the right here, which means slowing down a little bit, and then speed up. Oh, hello. I'm gonna honk the horn. Try and draw everything to that position there, and keep moving. What is fighting? Two panicked persons, zombie dog, 42 zombies, two SWAT zombies, tough zombie, fat zombie, Z9, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh yeah, there they are. And it looks like a boomer of some kind. You know what? I'm going to stomp on the gas. And just keep moving. Holy smokes. This is a lot more zombies than I had thought we were going to have to deal with. <laughs> Uh, we've already passed the gun store, so we're we're really wanting to take this left-hand turn, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to do that. So we're going to keep cruising. This is so many zombies. Oh, a zapper? You're dead. Wow, how fortunate are we though that this uh, this road is just straight on, with not much in the way. Oh, we hit. Uh, what did we do? Um, I don't know. We ran over a pole. Okay, but now we got to slow it down and turn it around. It doesn't seem to have done that much to us. Oh my gosh, there's just so many. Alright, honk the horn. Pick up the gas. And carry on carrying on. Oh, we missed that guy. What is that? Flesh Raptor. The small winged predator darts through the air on three thinly haired wings that look that that look like stretched human hands. 
gross. <laughs> a sheer jagged spike juts out from the point where its wings beat. It looks like nothing you've seen on Earth, and yet strangely like it's made of human parts. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a gross little thing there on the left. All right, goodbye. We're moving on. Look at them. Oh, it's they're they're going after this petrified person. Oh, the poor thing. It's it's a person. Um, let's not say thing. It is a human being, but they are just out of their mind with fright. Okay, let's honk another horn. And yeah, this is shocking number of zombies. Like I thought we'd come in here guns a blazing. But maybe not so much. Okay. Now we just passed the gun store again. It's there on that corner. Oh, it looks like there's another one back there. Yeah, another gun store. Another gun store. Tell me, my American friends, are there this many gun stores in a town of this size? Like, you know, it's got 15, 20 city blocks. Oh, there's a human in the distance. Hold up. Benton Blackmon. He's got a Ruger LCR 38. Wants to talk. Okay. We're gonna stop driving. I am... I do not trust this person. So we're gonna wield... our rifle. And try and talk to them. Keep your distance. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. 37%. Or we drop our weapon. Hmm. What would you do in this instance? I wonder. Hmm. I think... Gosh, I wish I had a... I wish I had a dice roller. And as if by magic... Here's a dice roller I found. It's... it's. I just chose this one because it's not a white background. Didn't want to burn your eyeballs out. Uh... One, two, and three... Means we keep our weapon. Four, five, and six... We, uh... We drop it. Four, five, and six means we drop it. Drop weapon. You'll be helpless. I don't know about that, but we'll proceed. Hello there. Uh, what are you doing? Currently, I'm guarding this location. Overall, I'm just trying to survive. I, I see. Can I do anything for you? I have a job for you. Want to hear about it? But sure. Tell me about it. I've lost so many friends. Please find me a patient list from the regional hospital or doctor's office. I just want to know who might still be out there. Dude, have you seen town? I mean, I'll do it, but gosh. Uh, thank you. I suppose it won't change what has already happened, but it'll bring me closure. Yeah, nah, not a problem. I don't have any more jobs for you, okay? Let's see. Um... Well, we've already done that. Another survivor. We should travel together. Why should I travel with you? Well, I, I can keep you safe. You got it. I'm with you. Okay. Awesome. Benton has decided to join us. Uh, I'm not sure we want him really hanging on our coattails immediately, but maybe we'll just take him to a safe location for the time being. Uh, let's go. Okay. Oh, we, we can get our weapon back. All right, get up in here. Nice job taking the seat. And let's move. Wow, he was just out here on the edge of town, huh? We have up there a crater. Cathedral. Interesting. Community garden. I wonder if there's a doctor's office here in town. Subway sta- Look at the number of subway stations. Wow, I wonder if that ties into the uh, the subway we saw going from that lab. Electronics store. 
I mean, really, we've been kind of spoiled for choice with those labs. We've had lots of electronics stuff. Restaurant, however, could be good in a diner. But the number of zombies out there is just insane. Let's, um, let's stay on the outside of town here. Can we get down back to the road? We can. We have next to us a house. Uh, this is a little hard to get through, isn't it? Oh, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna hit that. There we go. No problem. And we're seeing a zombie somewhere. So this is where we cleared out some stuff in the last. So we're not so bad off here. Watch out, Toad. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry, Toady. Okay, I don't want to go too far. But maybe we'll take dude into this derelict shed for the time being and just be like, hold up here. I'm going to go get some food. We should see what he has on him. But I just want him out of sight. Let's talk. Not yet. I'll get back to it. Um... Yeah, tell me about your abilities. He is... he's not bad. He feels bad right now. He's a little encumbered. Uh, he has some weapon skills, which is nice. I mean, he's not totally defenseless. Even electronics and applied science. Four with social, three with healthcare. Not bad. Um... Help tutorial. Just wanted to talk for a bit. Something I want you to do. Can you teach me anything? Can you host a training seminar or something to teach you? Uh, hold on to the center. Guard this position. Okay, he's on watch. All right. Enjoy guarding with your Ruger. We'll check out his gear after. Mostly at this moment, I just want to come in here. Uh, where's this zombie? Right there. Whoops, whoops, whoops. There we go. We're seeing a pupating zombie. Hmm. Okay. Come down, come down this way. Not so friendly people. There we are. <clears throat> Pardon me. Memory card on red. Don't mind if I do. Another zombie. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot probably come this way. Please hit it. There's that pew painting zombie. Yeah, these things are tough and they heal. Gosh. Another zombie? Oh my. They're coming up from the uh, the other road, I believe. Nope, it's coming from the left. Broke the fence, how rude. Okay, let's have a quick reload. And is that everybody? Oh, we are we are super unhappy. Why are we super unhappy? Mother wallet, what do you got? We're still looking for a condom for some reason. I can't remember why. Aspirins. 
you know what? Let's just unload them. And I would like to get in here. Ah, we need our ball bat, though. Wield that. Wear the gun. No, I'll skip the sledge trail. As best we can. Oh, there's downstairs. Kitchen's to the right. Soy sauce, rotten pickled veg, and cheese. That's not the greatest. In fact, I don't even think I want to pick up the cheese. We'll have a peek downstairs, though. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on our implanted night vision. Oh. Hello, cockroach. Ow. How does a cockroach do that? An aggressive mutant cockroach. Oh, uh, the size of, the, of a small dog. I guess. I guess that makes sense. Goes down pretty easy, though. Oh, man. Look at this. Okay. Systematically, let's search. Hydrogen peroxide, duct tape. Uh, we'll take a drink here out of the hot water heater. There we go. What do we have here? A backpack with some junk in it. But I want backpacks because I want to be able to take them apart. So, we'll drop the lunchbox with a wrapper and the pencil case. Grab the backpack. Everything you need to ace computer science and coding in one big fat notebook. We might have outpaced that already, but we'll see. It's got mostly just stuff in it. Paper wrapper, pencil case with junk in it. Plastic knife. Still, I don't know of any better way to to do that other than to unload it, pick it up, and then dump off the crap we picked up. So no, okay, drop those. Oh, I'm not dropping. Those guys. Plastic knife, lunchbox, pencil case. There we go. Tent with a... something? Food places appropriate snack. Okay. Can we just eat that? Sure. Let's have a snack while we're doing things. Candy cattle. High calories, but we would hate it. Uh, mm, bicycle rim, foot crank, might be useful. The foot crank, I mean. Backpack with two items. Two-piece fishing rod. Okay, Stanley eye drop we have plenty of. Oh, here we go. Uh, we have flour, rotten flour tortillas. Okay, not so... What? How to pick up? No. Dried lentils, salt, oatmeal, raw lasagna noodles, raw spaghetti noodles, uh, baking soda, mashed pumpkin, and canned tuna fish. Cool. That's enough to make a couple meals out of. Small diving cylinder could be useful. Chemistry textbook, looks like we already have one. Aluminum bat. Mm, very similar to our current bat, only it doesn't have the uh, the barbed wire on it. So, I mean, we could we could take it. Let's compare them: barbed wire bat, aluminum bat. Aluminum bat is faster, and just doesn't do the extra eight cut damage. Um, typical damage per second. The aluminum bat is best better against armored. Oh, it, okay, so it's got higher DPS because it doesn't 
it, it's not slowed down, but it also has lower damage. But that's not much of a difference. If you look at that, the best in green on the left is 21.96 versus the best for the aluminum bat is 20.49. So 22 versus 20 and a half. So one and a half difference. The difference in versus agile opponents is about one, but versus armored were up about 1.75, 1.74. And it's faster. And it's better against armored targets. I don't know. I'm very tempted. I think what I'll do rather than thinking about it too much is uh, we'll take it. No, we're carrying too much. I guess we won't take it. <laughs> Damn. Four memory cards on red. We'll take those. I don't know. What would you do? Would you would you sacrifice a little bit of high end damage for the better? Performance versus armored targets. I feel like armored targets are, are getting more common for us. Whoops. What do we have in there? Divers watch. Sure. I don't know why I pick up some of these things sometimes. Uh, there's a zombie in that house. Okay. And it's coming. Well. Come on, meet us halfway. I just noticed we're also deaf, and I believe that's because we have an MP3 player on. Yeah, we sure do. Turn off the music. We want to be able to hear things. Uh, what I'll do is I'll drop our goods here at our feet. Two backpacks and a backpack with two items. Oh, we have a book of fairy tales and a pencil case. Not for long. Pencil case. Book of fairy tales. Goodbye. Small cardboard box. Yeah, stuff, stuff, stuff. Take all the stuff. We'll do category select for that. Fishing rod. Separation funnel we don't need to be carrying around. Two MP3 players, handheld game system with no batteries in it right now. Fractional distil distillation apparatus, that's left over from in the butchering kit from when I made that stuff. Okay. Where are you, zombie? You're way off to the left. I don't need to worry about you right now. Just gonna nip down here and see if we can't stuff that bat into our backpack. There we go. That zombie. They seem to have gone into that house next door, hey? Well, we want the food out of it anyways. Let's see what we can do here. Hello, fat zombie. Goodbye, fat zombie. One door locked, the other not. What's a transistor? Let's find it. One day. Two fridges. What a fancy place. Uh, what is this? Pickles. Horseradish. Rotten, rotten. India pale ale. Hard seltzer. It's good. We're low on those. Another flashlight. I don't think we need another flashlight in our lives. Or another battery. Chili. Chili's con carne. Orange. There's a whole ass microwave. Wonder if it's got any useful stuff in it. That's got hard cheese. That's got hard cheese. Whoops. We'll take we'll take the hard cheese. If it's not <clears throat> not regular cheese. Rotten bacon. We'll take the seasoning, the pepper, the chili powder, cinnamon, garlic powder, some salt, some seasoning salt, just to hopefully expand the number of things we can we can make. What do we have here? Instant coffee mix. 
black tea bags, wheat cereal, toastums. We'll skip the toastums. Ten powdered milk. Uh, we're gonna have an allergic reaction to that too. Dirty peanut butter. Dirty, dirty peanut butter. Got smashed. There's some fruit jam. We uh, we may have survived off of jam one time or another. Herbal tea bags, green tea bags, black tea bags. There we go. We're well stocked for tea. We're not taking them all, though. Two kitchens down. Let's go to this one. Whoops. No. I didn't actually mean to smash it, but we have done so. <clears throat> Character sheet. Memory card. Doesn't say unread though, and I don't know why some are unread. Like, I obviously haven't read that one. We just stumbled across it. Hello, bathroom. Melatonin tablet. Uh, we'll just unload that one rather than pick up the whole bottle. Let's see if we can unload that antiseptic as well. Pour into container. I guess we're not carrying any an antiseptic. Uh, multivitamin. You know, we're just going to eat that multivitamin. Yum. Cough syrup, aspirins, antacid. There's gauze here. There we go. An inhaler. Antifungals. More multivitamins. I feel like we don't need to... more. We have... Truth be told, we don't need to be picking up any drugs. We should just be focusing on food. But I have a I have a hard time. I have a a weird relationship with loot and taking all the loot. Soy sauce, another orange, clean water. That's a lot of clean water. Again, it's like clean water. We have gallons of it in the vehicle. Do you think I can pass it up? Not a chance. Uh, there's a propane tank there. You know what I wouldn't mind? Of course you don't. Uh, I wouldn't mind attaching a frying pan to our vehicle. Can we pick that up? Oh, we can. Okay, what do we have here? Vinegar, curry, cornmeal. Flour, canned salmon, and tomato soup. And there's some maple syrup we're not going to take. Okay, that's that. The reason I take the propane tank is because I believe we can use a propane torch in the same way we use an acetylene torch and the arc welder. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the case, so I don't mind taking a fuel bottle. Antipsychotic we don't need to be carrying around. Inhaler, or a joint. That's a lot of food we just picked up. A lot of food stuffs in general. Gonna pop right in here and uh, attach tool to mounted kitchen to cast iron frying iron frying pan. There we go. We already have a hot plate and chemistry set and that kind of stuff, but it seems weird for there not to be a pan on top of things. What is this place over here? Like a little park? Nature trail. Well, that's kind of cool. And it's a public garden above it. Seeing some zombies on the other side. Seeing a lot, a lot of zombies up here. Oh gosh, no, they're all over there. Up here is relatively clear. That's good. We'll do a couple more houses here. Duct tape. Always worthwhile. First aid box. Bandages. Yep. Yeah, antiseptic. That's what we'll take. That zombie's way up there. Well, why don't you come on down? Because you don't see us yet. Come on. You can do a little, buddy.
Just wait for it. What did you bring us? Nah, a USB drive. Look at that laundry basket. A waistcoat. A lot of clothes in this one. Oh, there's a safe back there. Attempt to hack the safe. Yeah! Door in the safe swings open. We have a bottle of brandy. Okay, someone's got some naughty kids. Had some naughty kids, let's face it. They're all dead. Small relic. Small relic from a forgotten saint. As extraordinary as the world has become, it may have some power yet. Well, you sold me on it. Stuff. Just more stuff. There was uh, an inhaler, though. Oh, and there's stairs to this one. More interested in the kitchen right now. Dear me. An orange. Mineral water. Mineral water. A pizza cutter. Man, we should totally have like a pizza stone. Is that really it? Hard cheese. Take the hard cheese. Pantheon, the story of an Iranian something or rather. We'll take it. Maybe we can learn something. Bleach is something we use in our chemistry. We have a lot, so I'll just take one. Cast iron pot. Two more cast iron frying pans. What, what was down here? Nothing worthwhile. How about here? Baker's Companion. Irons at Calico Queen Annex. Seems to be just a, just like a, just a book for fun, but we'll start reading books for fun at some point. Blood diodes. Okay. Okay. Weird. Glove liners. Maybe. Our hands get cold. Well, this house was kind of lackluster in terms of loot. Oh yeah, downstairs. Also, what is with this? Nah. Pantry. Locked pantry with nothing in it. Night vision on. Why can't I see anything? Cockroach next to us. Okay. Yes, we'll stop. Where's this cockroach? To the right. Why? What the heck, man? Uh, we have 120 kilojoules. Okay. We we didn't pick up a flashlight, did we? Come on. This should be working, but it's not obviously working properly. Oh. Apparently picking up a jug of bleach is all we had to do. You mutate. Stop smashing. Yes. You gained a mutation called Night Vision. Wow. Well, that's handy and superfluous, but still cool. So we just gained an extra kind of level of Night Vision. A nymph. Yeah, you're, you're still a cockroach. What is here? Wooden keg. I don't think we need a wooden keg in our life. Pinot Noir. Don't mind if I do. I like a good Pinot Noir. If anyone really enjoys these series and wants to buy me a bottle of Pinot Noir, there's a link. Electric guitar, instrument cables. Are any of these really useful to us? I mean... We could, I guess in theory, take the ukulele and play it, play, play it, play it, wow. I can't, I can't pick it up though, because we're too loaded up on stuff. Yeah, this house kind of sucked. Uh, let's go back and drop some things off. Sunlight's glare makes it pretty hard to see. 
while we're down here, we'll have another look at our character. But let's drop this first. Lots of books this time around without really a need for them. And we're carrying around a UPS. That's also not necessarily. Plus the bat. The second bat. Uh, let's have a bite to eat while we're in here. Do we have any... Yeah, we have some cracklins left. We had cracklins. Not anymore. And how about a bit of wine? Now, we have... Wow, our stats are getting pretty good. And the more skills we get, the more stats we get. That's the mod that we have with that. We're also damp. If we've been sweating... We have a thing called Spent Phenotype. As well as the Alpha Transformation, the Elf A Mutation, the Troglobite Mutation. Oh, look at that. So the Transformation is giving us plus one in all stats. Rare, pain and damage. You feel better, so much better. Okay, Spent Phenotype. Mutation has left you with a persistent, mild discomfort. It seems harmless for now, but you can't predict if it'll get worse. We also took a depressant, uh, which is affecting our speed and dexterity. Huh. What depressant? Is that the alcohol we just consumed? We're also happy. Tipsy. Glare. Okay. Sun is in your eyes. It has nothing to do with the... Mutations, I guess. Now, dexterity... Speed is increased by two because of our dexterity, I guess. And mutation, our speed is increased by ten. We have night vision shown under traits. Fast metabolism. We st all this seems to be the same. Yeah. Other than having night vision. You possess natural night vision and can see further in the dark than most. Activate to toggle night vision visible areas on or off. Activate it? How? View activate mutations is left square bracket. Night vision active. Okay. Tough, squeamish, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It just... I guess it's just active all the time. That's good. I feel like that's from Troglobite. But maybe it's from Alpha. Did a little reading. Both of them are okay. That's... I figured we would just go big on the mutation thing. Um, full disclosure. I'm not sure how much longer we'll play Bruno. Simply because he was never really meant to be a long-term playthrough. More of a... More of a refresher. Hand drill. Could be useful to have this. What do we have here? Grappling hook. Cool. A BB gun. Less less cool. But I mean still kind of cool. We'll take the flashlight. Settlers of the ranch. A back scabbard. Kick ass, a, a leather scabbard big enough for almost any sword designed to be strapped to the back. It's very difficult to draw from without considerable practice. Activate to draw, or to sheath draw a sword. I'll take it. I was thinking about having a scabbard because I was thinking about a pike, but the more I think about the, the kind of time consuming tasks that, um, well, it's crafting. Crafting is just time consuming and whatnot i i figured you know what we should start a playthrough with a less seriously advantaged player try and make it a little tougher on ourselves and then um bring on all the followers have a base camp you know all that stuff mushroom soup nice uh, if you have an opinion about that if you think we should just be carrying on with bruno then please do let me know oh there was time there too it will take time. 
And they say you can't get more time. Hmm. Oh, it's a duplex. I see. Like, this is a big house for it. That being the only rooms. Let's just open that up. Oh. See a problem with your car there, sir. Is that another? No. I thought it was a grappling hook, but it wasn't a threat. Vacuum molder. We have one. Compressor. I think we also have one of those. Mineral water and pine nuts. Don't mind if I do. Also, draining tank and a battery with a charge. Gun digest. More thread. Panties and a bra. We'll skip those. Um, not. Oh yeah, we'll take. We'll we'll unload the codeine because we already have a bottle of it. I'm pretty sure. A leather backpack. We'll skip. I mean, having leather is good, but we have lots of leather things, I think. Nope, not from there. Pickled veg, hard seltzer, rotten bologna, cheese, sports drink, yeah. And more, more, more of that stuff. Could get a coffee pot. We might already... No, I don't think we have one, actually. We will um, maybe hook that to the vehicle. That seems to be it for that set of houses. Let's see. Patch tool. Item needs to be empty. Okay, so we gotta empty the coffee maker. Oh my gosh, there's just too much stuff in the area to, to see it. Coffee maker, unload. And we attach the coffee maker to our kitchen unit. Easy. Back scabbard. Is it worth wearing the back scabbard now? Torso is encumbered. Yeah, I guess if we're wearing... Oh, we're wearing a messenger bag, uh, which I meant to pick up, but not wear around. This, this happens a lot. Let's drop the messenger bag, wherever it is. There it is. We'll drop the back scabbard for now. We don't really have a weapon for it anyways. Grappling hook, flashlight, hand drill. All the food. Eye drops, gun jide, yeah, batteries, duct tape, all the thread, and so on and so forth. I'm keeping the gas mask, you never know when you need one. But yeah, I think that's gonna have to be it for now. We definitely got some good food out of that. You know, the one thing I will do is we will add an unsorted zone right there. Escape, save, sort out all my loot. It's amazing how so many, like, hotkey based commands you learn in this game when we come back we will i think clear some more make our way up to the gun store again we could make another run or a few runs with the vehicle until we've kind of flushed out all the zombies in a local area uh if you have thoughts about that too let me know because would you rather see me go hand to hand and shooting the gun or would you rather see me just bowl them over and get the loot uh, bowl them over with the video video I'm reading things and it, it's entering my mind. Bowl them over with the vehicle, not video. Sometimes I'm a total derp. Anyways, thanks for watching. Do the YouTube things if you wouldn't mind. Uh, still trying to grow the channel, of course. We'll see you next time. All right, cheers.